When it comes to prostate cancer research and emerging treatment options, what are you excited about specifically? Well, uh, there, there's so much to talk about there. Um, and I, I do want to um, say that, uh, you know, the things that we're excited about and that are promising, uh, we, we, we want to present them in the proper light, meaning that there are significant potential advances but they're not necessarily cures next year. You know, we, we, we want to raise hopes and excitement at a proper level. So I think right now where what we're seeing is progress that is likely to yield drugs that will extend survival, will help us control the disease in a meaningful way. Uh, we're not yet at a point where we can, for advanced prostate cancer, have a, a reasonable hope of, of cure in, in the near term. That doesn't mean we're not trying. We, we, we're aiming high, absolutely. But at the moment, you know, the most exciting thing right in front of us, in my view, is lutetium-177 PSMA-617. That is a, a radioactive molecule attached to a, uh, a binder that is specific to prostate-specific membrane antigen, PSMA and essentially delivers this radioactive drug directly to prostate cancer cells by attaching to that target, the PSMA. We, uh, we recently completed and, and reported at ASCO and published in the New England Journal of Medicine the results of a phase three trial where we were able to show extension of life, extension of uh, control of cancer uh, in a meaningful way with this drug. And we're eager to see the FDA's review, and, and I think generally hopeful that the FDA will uh, allow this drug on the market, uh, hopefully in the coming months. So that's a real mm. tangible thing that is not just pie in the sky years away. I think it's likely to be available, you know, sometime in, in, the, in less than a year, hopefully much less than a year. Speculating on those things is always a little risky, but of course, we all think that's coming. Um, I think, you know, there are several other targeted drugs uh, that may expand the portfolio of things that we can do in response to a mutation analysis. So I mentioned microsatellite instability uh, and, and DNA repair defects. There might be treatments for uh, mutations in a pathway called AKT um, and others. And so I think you, we're going to see more very specific drugs that address segments of prostate cancer. And then a big area of activity that I'm very excited about is immune therapy. And immune therapy has been difficult in prostate cancer. It has made more headway in melanoma and kidney cancer and a number of other solid tumors, frankly. And we're, we're a little bit behind. Uh, and, and I think in part because natural prostate cancer doesn't elicit quite as much of an immune response as some of the other tumor types. So it's not so easy. Uh, but some of the newest technologies where synthetic antibodies are being designed that link um, uh, the T cells from the immune system directly to prostate cancer cells and activate them, um, I, I think hold a lot of promise. And ultimately, when it comes to cure, um, the immune system right now looks like the most promising uh, strategy for actually eradicating cancers, uh, because once you activate the immune system, it can really um, do quite a job on, on cancer. Right now, for prostate cancer, that is still almost entirely in clinical trials and still for a minority of patients. So this is not an answer for everybody. But once we get a hold of something that's promising, uh, I think the field's going to work very hard to expand its utility and make it a reality for more and more patients. Mm -hmm.